I am here with other members of SNAP, including Sherida, the mother of a victim, and she is here holding a picture of Father Alex Castillo, who earlier this summer was sentenced for sexually molesting a child. We now know that there are at least five more victims of Father Alex. We are extraordinarily pleased that law enforcement pursued this case as vigilantly as they have because the Diocese of San Bernardino wanted to shut it down. But because of the vigilance of the boy's parents and the vigilance of law enforcement, he's serving time. But because of the plea bargain that avoided a public trial, we now will not know what his supervisors knew and when they knew it. We won't know if other allegations came forward a long time ago, six months ago, 15 years ago. But because of the bravery of the two young brothers, one of whom was the subject of the criminal complaint, we now have two new civil lawsuits that will allow them to use the tried and true civil justice system to find out what the Diocese of San Bernardino knew about Father Alex Castillo, what they may have covered up about Father Alex Castillo, and we can help other victims of Father Alex find the help and healing that they so deserve. This is a photo, a, father, a recent photo of Father Alex. We implore anyone who has any information about him to talk to law enforcement. Because of the reactions of many of the parishioners here at Our Lady of Guadalupe, who formed a group in public support of Father Alex, raising money to pay for his bail, we fear that there may be many witnesses and victims who are too scared to come forward because they fear that they will not be believed or that they may be shunned or, per or persecuted by their friends and neighbors. We at SNAP are here to say it is safe to come forward. It is safe to report abuse. It is safe to name your perpetrator and law enforcement will support you. Law enforcement will help you. And there are ways to find help and healing through support groups like SNAP and other organizations that help victims. I would like to introduce the attorneys who have filed this case, attorney John Manley from Newport Beach and attorney Martha Escutia from Los Angeles, who have come forward to help these boys and to get the truth about Father Alex's entire career as a cleric in the Diocese of San Bernardino. And Martha is available to speak Spanish. Good morning. My name is John Manley. Uh, I'm an attorney and uh, my office is in Orange County. Um, this is not a happy day um, because uh, we're here because uh, children were abused sexually. Um, the lawsuit we filed seeks to hold Father Castillo and his supervisors at the diocese accountable for what happened to these boys. My clients were, uh, uh, one of them was among the counts he pled guilty to criminally, so there's no question that this, this happened. Um, I want to be clear from the outset that this lawsuit is not about the Catholic faith or about the good people of this parish. Um, faith is a, is, a, is a great thing and the church's theology is wonderful if you, at its core. Uh, the problem is, is that members of the hierarchy who have nothing to do with the people of the church uh, continue to protect uh, priests who have problems acting out sexually with children. Um, this is simply about child protection. And regrettably, uh, it appears to us, and we think we'll be able to prove, that the diocese was well aware that Father Castillo had serious problems with acting out sexually, and yet put him in this beautiful parish and gave him access to kids. That's not okay. What's particularly disturbing about this case is this is a case from the 2000s. Very frequently, we, we're familiar with cases from the 70s, from the 80s, and even the 90s. These are, these are boys who are still teenagers today. Um, and what we are seeing is a resurgence of cases of, of, of from the 2000s, um, which tells us that despite all their promises, dioceses still haven't really dealt with this issue and hadn't, have not gotten rid 
of of the bad apples that continue to uh, prey on 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 children. So um, we'll pursue this case. Uh, we'll we'll hopefully obtain justice for our clients. But the most important thing, the the most important message is today, is that if anybody out there has any information about Father Castillo, or you were hurt by Father Castillo or anyone else in this diocese, the most important thing is not to call me, not to call Martha. The most important thing is to call the police. Call the police. That's what you need to do. Thank you. My name is Martha Escutia. That's spelled E S S and Sam C U T S and Tom I A. I am co-counsel in this case with my friend John Manley. Uh, from 1992 through 2006, I was the state senator for the 30th Senate District, and I was also the chairperson of the Judiciary Committee in the California State Senate, as well as in the California State Assembly. During my work in the, in the Judiciary Committee, I did a lot of uh, policy work in the area of um, sexual abuse and how a lot of our children are being abused, not only, you know, by priests, you know, but also by, by other adults. So I consider very much a veteran of, of these wars, you know, whether it's the Boy Scouts or, or, or the Catholic Church. Um, but I am here now, you know, in a different capacity as an attorney uh, to join co-counsel here on behalf of these uh, two young boys who have been um, abused, you know, by Father Castillo. Uh, I'm not going to repeat what my co-counsel said other than very simply again to reiterate the message. If there are any individuals out there who have any information about Father Castillo or if they were hurt by Father Castillo, please call the police.